Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. Um, today I will have a little chat with you. Um, yesterday I have been at the art in Basel, of Basel and um, it was a fantastic day. Oh, I loved it so much. But it was, it was absolutely exhausting. After, I don't know, five and a half hours or so I left because you know I was I didn't sit at all and started with going there already with the tram so I was completely naked and um, I really can't cope my back can't cope with that anymore so but this five and a half hours were already absolutely fantastic and I loved it really loved it and the other problem I get I don't know if if it's with you the same but the other problem I get is that on um, art exhibition like that where it's the the exhibitions are about a lot of artists it's not concentrated on one artist on one art on one subject you get overwhelmed or you get over flooded with with impressions and I think after a while I really couldn't cope with it. I, you know, the, the problem is you are, really can't pick and choose because of, somehow you can, you have a catalogue and can have a look, sorry, um, for certain things. But, um, you know, the art in Basel is, um, uh, one part is a huge hall where all this um, artwork is, um, in let's say installations pictures video art all that stuff um, and then on in the other halls and, and the other levels you have all the gallerists and this hall is absolutely fantastic it is huge there are a lot of items and uh, a lot to look at and of course you know you need more time to look at something than um, looking and passing that doesn't make sense so I was already exhausted after that haul and uh, then going into this gallery halls it was yeah it wasn't possible to have a certain structure and to look at something specific so I really my mind was completely flooded with with, with stuff and I had to leave I really had to leave but um, the most important part to me I've seen and um, it was absolutely great. You know, I'm more into paintings. I really love paintings. And I'm not that much into this video art and installation stuff. It depends on, sometimes it talks to me, I can connect to it, sometimes not. So I saw, fantastic stuff and I saw stuff I didn't get you know you, you know that as well um, it has something to do with taste it has something to do with what you like what you dislike it doesn't mean it's rubbish it is only something you can't connect to so that's how it works but I always try hard I really do you know with stuff um, what didn't or what, what's not grabbing my attention immediately, I really try to work hard with that and, and stay there and try to find out or try to find a way to connect with it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, <laughs> But I think you know what I mean, what I'm talking about. So, um, And I found some really good stuff. There was one light artist. I never was that much into light art but his installation was fantastic because I it took me I think half an hour I sat in this room and I, I can't really explain exactly what it was but it was fantastic what he did and but you have you need to have time to to get the whole picture let's say and that's what I did and it was really fantastic some stuff you can, yeah, you get it quicker than other stuff, but that was really good. So, 
And then there was one particular artist I discovered, never heard about him before, but I discovered him and I'm absolutely in love with him, <laughs> absolutely. Um, I will tell you about him a bit and um, show uh, some pictures. I took pictures and I will show you the pictures at the end. So um, I will talk about the most impressive stuff, or what impressed me most. And um, we'll tell you a bit about that because I will show you the pictures at the end. And um, it starts with one artist. Uh, his name is Emilio Vedova and uh, he's from Italy. And he has not one picture. He has his piece of art is how many? 110 works in a room. And um, it is in a special way assembled. And it's basically black and white. A few, four, five, six canvases are in a light color. And it is absolutely um, impressive. It is incredible when you stand there and look at all this. It's simply black and white and it's lines and it's blobs and but it is it has a lot of depth incredibly and his uh, work called In Continuum. So I will you show you the pictures later but I'm, I'm you know the, the picture sequence at the end is not that long and I'm trying to tell you already something before because I won't have that much time when the pictures are shown. And uh, the next one I found it's so creative and so funny. You know that uh, it's from David Shrigles and it calls Life Model. And he had built this three meter, I think it's three meter, uh, three meter high sculpture, a naked man. Yeah, okay, he has definitely male, male. Um, things. As you can see he's a male. So and um, he stands in this room in the middle, naked, yeah, yeah, and um, surrounded by easels. And um, a co it's, um, it's, it should set, be set in a traditional life class drawing or life class drawing room, yeah, in a drawing room. So and um, we, the guests, the, 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 the viewers or the, the people uh, visiting, visitors actually, visiting the exhibition are invited to sit down and draw this, this sculpture. And what they do is they uh, take these pictures and arrange them um, on the walls around there. It's so funny, I took some pictures of that one as well. You will see the sculpture and you, you will see some of the pictures. On the walls, it's it's so funny. I, I love the ideas. It's so creative and it's absolutely fantastic. Loved it, really loved it. And people really took part and so so funny. And uh, then the next what I was really impressed about it is um, from Pedro Reyes. Pedro Pedro Reyes. It's he's Mexican, and <clears throat> it calls this arm and what he did was he made instruments from weapons from uh, destroyed firearms old ones rusty ones and harps pianos drums and you will see some pictures of that as well I was really impressed and they worked because they were electrically um, connected and wired up and played in a different or in a in a special pattern. So <clears throat> it was that was really impressive. It took me a while because the leaflets uh, about the artists and their works were always next to the entrance of this um, installation. It was always in a room, but I never had a look before. I looked at it afterwards because I want to look at something um, without being influenced by the explanation. So 
and it took me a while before I realized that this instrument were made from destroyed firearms. <laughs> so funny. So because he, he, I focused on, on this, what he built as an instrument. And then when I looked closer, I could see that there was um, a, a small one firearm or a machine gun or different stuff. So absolutely impressive. So, I have to stop for a moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, the next one, that's actually the guy I discovered and fell in love with his works. And his name is Jakob Julian Tsiolkowski or Tsiolkowski. Tsiolkowski. I haven't got a clue how you pronounce this letter. I will show it to you. This this letter, if it's a T, an L, or he's from Krakow, from Poland. So anyone out there able to speak Polish would be nice to hear how to pronounce that. And I was absolutely impressed. So his work was, um, the room was actually made like a wooden cage, but really huge. And uh, inside there were all his pictures all over the walls, really all over the walls. There were, well, you will see the pictures, as I said, I repeat myself. But, um, and these pictures were done in a period of 12 months, you know. Um, they are rep rep represent, represent 12 months of um, uh, his output without sensor. Whatever that means, you will see. No, I won't show you the... I will show you the soft version. And um, his work, it, it fascinated me. You know, when I came in and I saw this these pictures, some of them you can call primitive, some naive, some are disturbing, really scarily disturbing, and but it fascinated me so much. And some of them are absolutely, yeah, normal, beautiful, and or what you call normal, beautiful. It it's this 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 diversity and this absolute. It's fantastic when you want to see more of him i would recommend him google him and find out about his work there's a book that exists and i was at the gallerist um in in that hall and had a look and they have a book there and i talked a bit uh, about him with them and and i didn't realize i thought when i saw his works i didn't realize that he was so young he's not young young but Born 1980, wouldn't have re um, thought that he is um, still that in his 30s, still that young. So, because his works are looking very mature, very oh god, I have seen a lot of bad stuff in this world and absolutely fascinating. I'm, I really have to look for more about him for more information where I can get more of his picture scene and I can't go to Krakow, definitely not, but there must be something I can see his works on somewhere else. We'll see, but absolutely. Yeah, that got me, absolutely got me. And those, that's him. <clears throat> then the next is, um, he is um, a Chinese and um, from Beijing, uh, Liu Wei, and his work is it's huge, really huge. And um, what they're writing here is basically um, a tranquility of the abstract landscape. So, okay, um, I can't. I won't see it in that, but it doesn't matter. That's what, what it makes with you, not what they tell you should see in there. Now, um, but it's a huge work. It's five 
single pieces but still huge and uh, put together and um, when you see the pictures the the first one I took from very very um, close uh, very close up there are this 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 really black stripe this very thin ones a bit wider ones but not very much wider and then over this whole work so precise and um, has a bit of in one area over the whole work a bit of crackle very fine crackle and um, when you see it from the distance it's incredible you can't believe that this is made from from one from this from the stripes and because when you um, walk back and watch at it in the the whole thing it gets some depth and three-dimensional absolutely fantastic you will see that as well and um, then there were sculptures I and yeah, that was one of the things where I thought oh, no I'm not into sculptures a lot but I as I said I'm trying to understand stuff you know so I went in there and had a look at them and I thought mm, um, plaster bandage and paper mache and, and stuff like that but the sculptures were just a lump of whatever bit pointed but a lump of of something and I didn't really I thought no, I didn't really connect to it and then some work I walked very close to it and had a close look and then I find out well that because I told you I'm not reading this leaflets before and then I had a closer look and I saw there was a hard hat under it I could see there was a piece of a hard hat and a piece of a plastic box and then I realized that this guy is bandaging or, or, or packing or paper mache in this uh, everyday stuff this rubbish this um, stuff we use and you know buy and use in bin in and and wrap it and then I thought hmm, I'm trying to find out what's all under the other ones but you couldn't see something so you had to guess and I tried to guess what and that's what 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 uh, got me you know this oh what might be under there and I tried to to find out by the shape and that was really funny fun absolutely funny so he got me then at the end so and um, that's the the art what really absolutely impressed me there were a lot of other stuff I really liked but as I said there must be something in there what fascinated me that much that to me I'm um, I will stand there and look at it for a long time and I will get further information and try to find out more about the artists stuff like that so and then of course um, there were it was busy it was a Saturday of course and you know I some people think oh, I have to go there because that's cool going to the art and um, having a look at all that stuff and then you go through all that and people when I hear this oh, I, I could have done that you know I there was one installation it was from the outside cardboard boxes big cardboard boxes piled on uh, in a shape of um, quarter or square with a uh, uh, with a ceiling and from outside simple cardboard boxes but then there was one door an entrance and you went in and inside the cardboard boxes were covered with paint strokes blobs so in um, mainly green and um, so it was illuminated inside of course and I walked in and had a look at that and this this guy with his wife were looking over and I could have done that yeah the problem is you didn't have the idea and that's what people don't get you know it's not about the work only it's about it the whole process it's the idea the creativity you know that's that's what these people don't I could have done I mean, when I hear something like that I'm, it's, 
It annoys me a lot. It really annoys me. Could have done that. Yeah, why didn't you? So because you haven't got an idea, you're not creative, you're... So I'm... You know, but these people... Why do they go there? I, I can't understand that. What do they think they will find there? And, yeah. Okay. That's something you don't need to talk about. You, I, I bet you know all that. And the next thing I was surprised about, uh, next thing I'm surprised, surprised about is my battery is dying, so I have to change the battery. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, now, where was I? Oh, um, big thing I was really surprised about and I had giggle about that a bit. It... Um, glitter has arrived in the galleries. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, and not this nice little card size or little canvas we make or I make. Nope. It is on huge three, four, five meter canvases and they are not really using it sparingly, believe me. It is absolutely fascinating. I didn't, couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that. You will see some pictures. <laughs> I will show them. And I don't like it, actually. I was so surprised that most of them, um, most of the artists are male. I was really surprised. Couldn't believe that. So the latest trend in art is glitter. Use glitter and as much as possible. You're up to date then. So, and um, that's actually it. I will say, I tell you or I will show you some of the pictures. There is one uh, video involved, a little one. Um, that's an art. that's one of the works I didn't get. Couldn't connect to that one. I tried hard, but I didn't. So perhaps you can see something in it. Explain it to me. I didn't even, even read the leaflet because I thought, no, no. <laughs> it didn't say something to me, but that's something that happens. You will see that. Um, the artist is involved in that, so he's sitting in his artwork and yeah, it rotates and you will see that. Um, and some glitter page, uh, uh, glitter pages I will show and then this, this main impressive stuff I, I told you about and that's it. So I had a lot of fun there and next year will be a new art and I will go there again definitely again yeah that's when you live in one of these big cities Cologne or London or wherever the art is going then go there it's worth it it's really really worth it going there um, so that's it actually so I will talk you through the pictures now first I will say thanks a lot for watching I appreciate that really and um, yeah, I hope you like it a bit and I hope I will see you with my next video. So have a nice time guys. Bye bye. Okay, this is the work of this Emilio Vedova in Continuum. Absolutely fascinating. We can see some some of them are colorized very, very gentle orange or green and yellow but very gentle and that's the next actually this is the the sculpture the life model with all the easels around and then you will see some of the pictures i took what visitors were drawing <laughs> so funny <laughs> really love that one and the next you will see is something um uh, it's a work on a wall. I can't remember what was it. I didn't tell you something about that. That was quite okay, but it didn't impress me that much. So I quite found the material interesting. So, yeah, that's it. Looks quite interesting. And this is the work from this Mexican Pedro Rice with the destroyed firearms. As you can see here. Absolutely fascinating. Absolutely great. So and that's my Jakob Julian and um, absolutely fantastic. Really, really great, great stuff he was drawing or he drew and the pictures are fantastic. It's 
I really love it. I love it. It's, I think, um, very diverse and, and controversial, I think. But I love it a lot. So, yeah, look up for him if you are interested. So, and this is, uh, it's very long, 50 meter or so, and then it's all made from these little tiny lines. That was fascinating me. And that's one of the glitter pictures, actually. That's huge. That's all glitter. <laughs> it's incredible. And this is actually the work from this uh, Liu Wei, this Chinese. I told you about this, um, all the lines. It's absolutely massive, as you can see, see here. But I, I really love it. And this is the video. I don't get that one, actually. Tried hard, didn't get it. And this I quite like because it's uh, like a like a collage and really big. So on this I wanted to show you, I couldn't believe that, five, four or five meter big. It's wax actually, wax. Can you believe that? Look at that. And this is the, the artist and it says wax. Couldn't believe that. And that's the next glitter thing. And look at that. That's all glitter. All that stuff. So that's it. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>